What is up everybody, this is Austin here from Gaming Entertainment Network and today I'm going to teach you how to tether your Android device to your computer. Um, this can be useful in situations where you are um, you know, don't have internet access at the moment or you know, on your laptop somewhere or whatever. Uh, for me personally, I use this because it is my only source of internet in my home. Um, and I'm able to do everything that I want to do on it. Uh, so I'm going to jump right into it, hopefully this will help you out. First thing you're going to need is a Android phone, Android version 2.5 or higher. If you're not sure what version of Android you're on, um, anything that you've had in the past four years, maybe even five years, um, is likely to be higher than 2.5. So first thing you're going to need to do, um, you're going to need an application on your phone and an application on your computer. We're going to start with the computer application first. You're going to want to go to pdanet.co, and I'll leave a link for this in the description, um, and then click the download button. If you're on Windows, do the first one. If you're on Mac, do the second one. And this will download uh, this application right here. Uh, double click this, install it, um, just run through the uh, steps that it has there. Should be no problem. After it's installed, you should have this, PDANet Desktop. That is the computer application. Now, we're going to come back to the, the desktop application, but we're going to jump on over to the phone application, which is um, this right here. This is an APK file. You're going to need this on your phone. What you can do is go to the go to the Play Store and um, and search for. Actually, I'll go ahead and do it right now. Actually, I've already done it, but I'll I'll, I'll do it. So just search for PDA Net. Um, I'm in the Play Store. It pops up right here. Search for PDA Net. It's the first one that pops up. PDA Net Plus. And of course, I already have it installed. If you want the the paid version, it's seven dollars. Free version is of course free. The only difference between the two versions is the free version will often uh, kick off or restart or whatever. Like it'll it'll shut you off. You'll have to manually go back in and, and turn it back on. Um, it can be really annoying. So I would recommend you know buying the uh, the, the seven dollar version. If for whatever reason you can't afford this, I will leave a a link in the description to the APK file and you can just download it. Simple as that. So if you do download it from from the link I give you, you're gonna need to get this file to your phone. So you know, hook it up to USB. I have my phone right here, you see. Um, and uh, you're just gonna take this, drag it into you know where your phone's at. Get that file on your phone somehow. And if you wanna start out with the free version, just go ahead and go to the Play Store, download that, you're good to go. So now we're going to jump over here to the phone. I've got my Samsung Galaxy Note 4 here, and I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to do. So go into your files. Um, let me back out of here. Um, it might look different on your phone, but get to your files. Um, and as you can see, I've got PDA Net, and then I've got uh, the Foxfy key. Just click on the PDA Net, open it up, install it. Of course, I already have it installed. After you do that, you're going to want to install the Foxfy key um, because that will unlock the full version. And once you've done that, you're good to go with that. You should have PDA Net on your device. Let me pull it up here. And you can see I'm already connected to, uh, to USB. Um, so before you go any further, make sure down here at the bottom, make sure it says full version unlocked if you're, if you're doing it by the file I'm giving you. Um, and then also make sure you have a uh, USB tether activated um, and you're good to go on, on this. What you're going to need to do for this, and I, I can't quite show you here because I've already done it, is you're going to need to enable developer settings before, or not, yes, developer settings so you can do debugging mode. Um, just whenever you get to this step, um, go into Google and type in your, your version of Android. If you're unsure, of how to find your version of Android, um, go into settings, go to, let's see, about device, and um, and then you should see, like, right down here, Android version 4.4.4 .4 is what I have. Um, so just do a search for that, for, for your version of Android, and find out how to get the developer settings for that version, because you're going to need to enable debugging mode to be able to get this to work. After you've done that, Make sure that the activate USB tether is checked um, and you're good to go on the phone side. Um, so we're going to jump back over here to the computer. 
Um, and you can, you, okay, we got the, the PDA net on the desktop. Um, double click it, open it up, and it should give you this icon right here in your um, task manager or task bar, whatever you want to call this. Um, now, the most important step, sorry, the most important step that I could possibly tell you, do not miss this or it will not work. Right click it, go to settings, go to hide tether usage, and make sure it's on level one. It might prompt you to do this automatically. Um, if it doesn't, do this. Settings, hide tether usage, level one. I cannot stress that enough. This may not work without that. So after you've done that, um, you have two options. Let me go ahead and disconnect here. And you can see it, it did it on my phone too. Um, you can either do USB, Bluetooth, or uh, actually that's your only two options. You, you can share Wi-Fi, um, which basically means like let's say you have this connected through USB, you can do Wi-Fi sharing and then share to other devices in your home. It's kind of unstable. I haven't found it to be that useful. Um, uh, I always do connecting through USB. You can connect through Bluetooth. It's slower, not ideal. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just connect back to USB. And of course it's connected. I can go online. I can just go to Google. It works. Works just fine. Um, actually, I want to go ahead and do a speed test on here. Uh, usually I can get around 15 to 17, 18 megabits per second. Um, not always, but, but a lot of the times. I don't know why it keeps telling me I'm here though. <laughs> Hang on. Um, let me just go with uh, the one I'm closest to. I just want to do a speed test to uh, kind of demonstrate. Actually, it's a lot like a... Um, it's actually a lot like a, uh, a satellite. If I put it behind me, closer to the window, it, it, it gets better results. But um, if I'm downloading games or something like on Steam, I can usually get about two megabytes a second, which is you know not great if you if you have if you have a really good charter you know uh, cable signal or whatever because um, I know at uh, you know other places even close to where I live they can get up to like 50 megabits a second and then like where my parents live um, they get like 15 on charter so you know even even charter varies but okay here 12 megabits um, down and then four and a half megabits up not bad it gets the job done I use this to uh, stream to twitch um, play games on my PlayStation 4 play games on PC um, hardcore gamer here so um, obviously uh, and it, it where it, it does everything I needed to do um, hopefully this helped you out if it did um, hit the like button hit the share button let all your friends know um, and if you're interested in games I know this isn't really game this video isn't really game related but if by chance you're into uh, PC gaming PS4 gaming um, Check out other videos. Hit the, uh, hit the subscribe button if that's something you're into. If not, thank you. Either way, so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.